Nando and Shondell, as I read scripture from the fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, I want you both to pay very close attention to the words that are stated here. They are the words of God, and the Holy Spirit will always honor these words as you stand on them in faith. The power of God is released into their lives and establishes a covenant of union that shall never be broken. Shondell, I receive you. Thanking God for the love you hold in your heart for me. And I vow to spend my life cultivating my love and care for you and for our family. You put a new smile on my face and a new song in my heart. You never try to change me, yet you make me want to be the best me possible. And from the very beginning, You've loved my children as your own. You are the one my soul loves and the one my heart adores. And it is an honor to make these vows to you. With God, our relationship together is my most important consideration. It gives us both strength. And I vow to make every effort to strengthen it in turn through honesty, faithfulness, and patience for all the days that we live with one another. I, Shondell, according to the word of God, give my whole heart to you, Nundle, holding nothing back. I gladly exchange my independence for interdependence and a lifestyle of complete oneness with you. I promise to spend each day working to become a truer version of myself. And I will do my utmost to help you to do the same. I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. As your husband, I will seek to be open and honest with you to forgive you as Christ has forgiven me and always remind you of the Lord's plan and promises. Forever, I devote my love and my life. Nundal, you have earned my respect in many ways. Tonight, however, I vow to respect you, not as you earn it, but simply because it is what God requires of me as a wife. And I promise to not withhold that respect from you. And look forward to who you are or yet to become. I promise to listen to you, to sincerely hear you, your heart, and learn from you, to support you, and to accept your support. I accept your family as my family, and I will forever love your children as my own. I vow to love you unconditionally, based on commitment and not on feelings. I promise to treat our marriage as an unbreakable covenant with God, not as a negotiable contract. I accept you as my husband, just as you are, with no expectation of anything other than the perfectly imperfect man you are at this moment. I will love you, have faith in your love for me through all the years and all that life may bring us. I will love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I love you, Nundle, and I will never leave you, forsake you, or give up on you. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage. It's a token of your faith in God and of your love for one another. This ring is made out of precious metal. It is a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God, a love that never fails, never presents itself haughty or puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes His power to move in your lives together. Tonight, when I say I do, 
I am saying yes to a lifetime of hard work, laughing and crying together along the way. Yes to being your closest friend and confidant. Yes to hard conversations, awkward apologies and exposed flaws. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and I will speak to you with encouragement. We will be partners, best friends and lovers today and all the days that follow. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nundle J. Carter. Please rise. I promise to forgive quickly and completely, and when I have wronged you, to ask for your forgiveness. I promise to maintain a heart always open to reconciliation, and in all situations, to put the good of our marriage above my own feelings. These things I vow to you today, until my very last breath, we shall forever be one. I have made a choice to make the daily decision to love you no matter what. I have counted the cost, and I am confident that with God's grace, I can keep each of these vows until my very last breath. Love is a partnership of two unique people who bring out the very best each other. And we know that even though they are one for an individual, they are even better together. I love you both from the bottom of my heart.